Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives. In this platform we are going to focus on the question paper uh, from one of the question papers that is uh, on friction. So we like worked on a previous question again which was on friction but if you are to take note guys there is nothing that is actually different from this. That is why I actually made this video so that you can actually see that these guys they are actually repeating the same thing so if you work with question papers it's, a, it's for your own advantage guys because you're actually knowing how they ask these questions because if you are to cross check this with the previous class that we had that was the same uh, principle okay the same thing so if you're new to my channel and consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from us on african motives and also to watch other episodes that we worked on so that you can catch up with others uh, as we are moving together as a family as you become part of the family make sure that you watch other videos so that you actually benefit okay so the first question was to state the three principles of kinetic energy or kinetic friction and that's three marks for that and uh, as usual we I had these uh, questions like I explained previous that uh, these are the principles that actually the ones that they need you to have so independent of speed depends on nature of surface in contact independent of size of area in contact and proportional and perpendicular to the normal force so these are actually four and you can just pick any three of your choice okay so the other question that you're given now a casting with a mass of 500 so if you had to check the previous question that we had it was given like a mass was 0 0.2 tons now we are given a mass in kgs and an angle of 20 degrees and the coefficient of friction of 0 0.25 they just changed numbers but it's the same thing like what we had so remember what i said if it is an incline like this you're going to just have a typical diagram that you're just going to use something like this so that's an angle of 20 degrees here and uh, this is uh, the mass that we are given so it's a mass of what of 500 kgs so we have 500 kgs in this case okay so that's what you're going to have the frictional part and the parallel component and we have uh, the perpendicular uh, component uh, so the, the, these uh, guys you actually know them okay so that's what you are going to to have in this case so from this diagram on 4.21 we need the component weight of the object perpendicular to the surface okay i explained this uh, that uh, the perpendicular component that is uh, perpendicular to the surface is uh, this one the f perpendicular so this one is uh, f uh, actually from uh, your your formula sheet is written as fc but uh, th this is one in the same thing okay so this is a uh, w cos theta of which do we know that w cos theta this w is equal to mg okay so which means it's mg cos theta so m is the mass we are going to substitute the mass of 500 so we have 500 by g that is the gravitational acceleration of 9.8 times cos theta which is the angle of 20 degrees okay so guys here we do not want to waste much time use your calculator properly you are going to obtain 4604 okay comma four nine newtons okay so this is something that you're going to obtain as uh, for the perpendicular component and uh, on 4.22 we need uh, the parallel uh, the one that is parallel okay on 4.22 uh, that's f parallel so you can just write this as f parallel like this which is this one is w sine theta of which we say w is mg so it's going to give us mg sine theta like this okay so you can actually substitute again the mass is not going to change it's 500 by g 9.8 by sine theta which is the angle that we actually had previously of 20 degrees okay so what only changed is the sign but everything is going to remain the same okay so using uh, the calculator now what are we going to actually obtain we're going to have 1675 1675 comma nine yeah something like that newton make sure that you use your calculator properly and also to round off properly these values okay so that's the parallel uh, part then the friction force between the casting and the incline okay uh if you 
had to cross check previously we talked about this and we said actually the component of friction is equivalent to the frictional force that is the frictional force over the perpendicular component which is fc so this fc is the perpendicular component so in order for us to have the friction we are just going to simply cross multiply because this is like over one so it's going to be the coefficient of friction times this fc which is uh, the perpendicular component okay where i have the perpendicular component and uh, this one so i can just write this out actually as the frictional component multiplied by w cos theta like this okay it's one and the same thing so i have the coefficient of friction uh, if we are to take notice the coefficient of friction is there is 0 0.25 okay so we have 0 0.25 multiply by the perpendicular component and we calculated this perpendicular component on the first part here uh, we had 4604,49 so you are simply substituting the value that you obtained here okay then uh, actually you can multiply so if you multiply properly you are going to obtain 1151 yes comma one two newtons so you just make sure that you multiply properly these values okay then um on 4.24 usually they are uh, this last question they ask it like this one okay the smallest force required to move the casting down the incline okay so this smallest force is that is required to pull it down is referred to as f down okay so when they ask you the smallest force it's f down so remember that f down from the formula that we have it's actually going to give us the frictional force minus the parallel component you subtract the parallel component because this is f down okay so it's the friction you're actually like subtracting these two here this part that is going this side and this side that is going this side so that is the, for the smallest okay so you are subtracting the two so you just substitute the, these values that you obtained remember uh, the frictional component with frictional force we have it here so you're going to substitute so we obtained one one five one comma two one two that's minus the parallel component uh, if i'm not mistaken this okay we have it let's not use the mistaken part let's just use it as it is uh, that's one six seven five comma nine so you can actually subtract the two so if you subtract you're going to obtain a negative in this case so it's negative five two four comma seven eight newtons okay so it's going to give you a negative so that's f down which is the smallest force that you can uh, use so that's how they ask these questions guys that's, as you can see these are the questions the typical questions that you can have so you can relate this to the other previous question that we had so that you can uh, match how and the changes that they just did here they just changed num numbers but everything was one and the same thing okay so that's guys from us on african motives working on engineering science and pre make sure that you subscribe so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from us on african motives till we meet again